That's a good point. I was gonna thought it was something to say in the beginning of these videos to make it more of like an intro, and I forgot. Well, what are you gonna do? So here we are once again with the Bridgestone CB1 in the stand, ready to be worked on, so close to being finished, and I'm not gonna do it. Um, I went and bought a couple more parts bikes. I can't help myself. Things are cheap. No one's buying. Um, I bought an old Schwinn for $100, which is totally insane. Uh, it's not a nice one. It has stamp steel dropouts, clamp on derailleur. But it had an IDL saddle on it. If you look real closely, you'll also notice it had a really nice set of the all-chrome Suntour Power Ratchet Thummies, which are the best shifters ever. And I have bought bikes at garage sales for five whole dollars for the shifters. But this time I paid $100. And it's got some decentish wheels and tires, and it has a decent... Uh, like, it's a Gino AT triple crank set. The guy said he put a brand new bottom bracket in it. it was, it's a brand new build, which is a little sad. It's like, you know, kind of an amateur bike mechanic. Brand new build. It's got brand new cheap derailleurs on it and new cables and housing. And sort of a shame to kill it. Almost too much of a shame. I thought about putting some cheap shifters on a different saddle, but it's a 62. The frame's weird. It's cheap. No one's going to buy it. I don't want it sitting around. So I'm going to tear it down and go donate it to bike farm. Wheels and all. I got too much junk sitting in my way. Um, and then, yesterday someone posted a 24 inch wheeled uh, bike. I can tell from the picture it looked like it had Dior thummies, which I love. And uh, maybe a nice Dior crank. Maybe some other stuff. I was like, yeah, it's, it's worth going to look at. Even though it's a weird little tiny bike and a weird wheel size. But I'll show you. Right now, it's Surprisingly hot. $50. Oh. Oh. So here is the little crack and fail. I mean, Cannondale. Lol. Um, about 50 bucks. I think it was a weird 24 inch wheel bike, but I went and looked. And it's 26 inch. The wheel seems to been nice. It's got pretty wide for this, this old vintage uh, era rims that brake tracks feel good so I'm like so I'm like maybe these wheels are saveable maybe these parts will be saveable for the metallic orange MV1 I have that I'm trying to sell that no one wants to buy maybe I'll build it up with parts off this and some of the other myriad of 90s mountain bikes with your stuff I've been buying for way too cheap I've got several of so I'm like okay the wheels are 26 that's cool uh, hubs feel nice with this regular Dior, they're not LX or XT or anything. But I start looking, this is a nice crank, I need to check the serial number, because I don't have them all memorized and see if it's regular Dior or XT or whatever. It's got a little XT shark fin, regular Dior derailleur, it's got the, like, Diacompi 986 canties, which I think might have been an early 90s, like, kind of Richie y thing that came on the, the higher end bikes. XT front derailleur, I kind of think, I'll tell you why, it's got an XT headset, black early Dior brakes, which may or may not be XT, I don't know, I'll have to look up the numbers, and I notice as the seat post is loose and slid up, it's an XT seat post, not in the best shape by any means, but pretty cool, this might have been an all XT that's, you know, been slowly modified over the years. Maybe it's a regular Dior one. They put a few XT parts on. It's got pretty crisp, clean... This one's got a little, a little booger. But pretty crisp, clean, nice Dior thummies. Really nice Dior lovers with the little caps and stuff. And pretty, pretty clean for 40-year-old used parts. It's got Dior XT pedals. One feels all right. Got kind of a fun seat post binder. It looks like it's like Billity aluminum, very 90s and cool and whatever. It's got a spring in it. Ooh, maybe potentially slightly fancy, but no logo, so who knows? Yeah, poor, poor seat post, can barely read it. But it is Dior XT, and it's 27 too. That seems awfully fancy. Look how jacked up it is on the rails. That's probably means the top's on wrong or something. Hopefully it's not damaged and saveable, because this is cool. I think it's steel. And it's just a junky seat, whatever. 
First thing, snapper, dapper. The cassette looks pretty clean and new. I wonder if the chain and cassette are pretty recent. Oh yeah, that's showing nowhere. So I might even save this chain and cassette for, you know, a city biker beater project instead of going buying a brand new one since these have what appears to be no miles. It is so clean. I think he was selling bikes because his kids were outgrowing them. He was buying bikes, so I don't know if they really got ridden that much. So it's got some play. Probably best for a beater bike or a frictiony beater bike. It might index fine. So the Cannondale's come apart pretty well. I had to come to an issue where this bar has been wrecked a few times. It's really normal. The whole flat bar is ground into the cement or the rocks and the mud. And the brake levers want to come off. Now you can take the bolt all the way out, fry the opening up, and get it off. And risk uh, kind of mangling your brakes. Looks like maybe someone's done in the past. Or you can just take a file and dress these burrs on the end. And then easily slip the bar off. So it's up to you. But just knocking this down back to 22.2, not particularly hard. And if you're watching my videos, you should already have a file because I use it all the time for stuff. But you can't see this lever. Clearly, had someone already do that at one point. A little, a little silver spot pried open. But otherwise, this lever's in such good shape. Springs work, the other one's great too. I'm pretty happy about that. These these levers, these Shimano Old Dior levers really are incredibly levergy, super stoppy, really comfortable. They're just absolutely one of the best brake levers ever, and I strongly recommend if you're digging through a parts pile, just trying to put together some sort of a city bike, commuter bike, or whatever, you consider these instead of uh, getting something new or flashy or more classic or vintage it just doesn't have any leverage and just doesn't stop well. These things are fantastic. Yeah, and this side's got the same thing. You know, I'm gonna do it the other way just to show it. So here's just a flathead screwdriver. So the same thing with this. It's, it doesn't quite want to come out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this little tightening pinch bolt here. We're gonna loosen it way, way, way up or take it all the way out. And then we can just give a little teeny prying action. Lining up these slots. Let's break out. I'm putting this guy in and either prying up or down, or really twisting sideways because it's the easiest to get force and leverage on it. Very nice little break. I'm gonna do the same thing with the shifters. Nope. Never really been a fan of Shimano using screws for these shifters instead of, uh, you know, like Allen bolts. But whatever, the outside should be an eight. Look at this shifter. It's pretty clean and crisp. It's got a little bit of a scrape on the top. But usually these things are destroyed, or the sticker's totally dead or missing. It's got all its clicks. Seven speeds. Oh, I almost thought the cable head was frozen, but it's coming out. That's a fun video on how to get frozen cable heads out. We'll do that someday. Ooh! So I pulled this uh, cable and housing out of the stem. And check this guy out. This is the sp special little super step-down ferrule. That you need for old uh, campy brazons, a lot of smaller stuff. This might even work in the nothing special Schwinn. Uh, it's rear derailleur brazons, a size smaller. So these things are worth their weight in gold, so check the ends of your cables before you throw them away, the ends of your housing. Because uh, they did start remaking these a while ago. I don't know if they still are. Um, I had to order bottles like from, direct from like Taiwan and get like an entire like $60 bottle of these little ferrules, and they weren't quite the same. But worked pretty well. This is a much more heavy duty and high end one. So save these weird little bits. You never know when you're going to use one. You're going to be like, I don't know what this is for. Don't throw it away. Ta da! Candle frame is stripped. I'll go donate to Bike Farm. The fork that came off is a nice steel Tongay fork. It's really light, it's really wide. 
It's got cool dropouts, like little luggy style dropouts of the brazon. Maybe it's something I'll save for something. Maybe it's something that needs a bunch of brazons added and someone would be really into it for their bike. Or maybe I have too many forks and it's for a real small bike anyways and that's weird. Who knows. This Cannondale frame, handmade in the USA. High performance tubing, do not clamp C2. It is really, really light. Pretty cool, an extra set of bottle bosses. But to bike farm it'll go and I'll probably end up recycling it. I did want to point out one sad thing about this back wheel I noticed immediately is it's got really low spoke tension and a couple of broken spokes. And it's just a regular Dior, no one cares. But it is a real seven speed hyperglide. I'll save the cassette off of it. And uh, maybe I'll play with it, maybe I'll replace that spoke and See if I get up to tension, but probably the rest of the spokes are trying to break too. That low tension being ridden on. So maybe I'll just pull it out as a hub. Put it on eBay, see if anyone cares. Which they may or may not. <sighs> Real ridiculous, giant Schwinn. The guy sanded some of the paint off and then spray painted a little and sanded that and then put some sort of clear coat on. That's cool. Whatever. I don't care. It's too big. No one's going to want it. And it's too weird. No one's going to want it. But I want these shifters into the cool all chrome ones. And uh, there's no rust on them at all. These shifters will go on a very nice bike for me. It's got some weird Sun Tour XC Pro levers. It looks like he might have just hacked off. I'm trying to make him two fingers, which is a real shame because those levers would have been worth some dough. Some weird chrome plated aluminum. Custom M Japanese pedals. I have no idea if these are cool or not. I'll put them up just in case they're weird BMXy thing. But that's your Gino triple crank and brand new tourney derailers and kinda true wheels. I don't really want to deal with. Cheap tires I don't really want to deal with or use for anything, so. Even though I paid a lot of money for this bike, I think it's just going to go to bike farm. They just say it's a brand new bottom bracket, so I will save the cranks in the bottom bracket. Maybe the pedals. Definitely going to get this uh, IDL saddle off for myself. Maybe the seat post because it's all brand new. These shifters and maybe these brake levers. So I'm sorry, fresh build with only 50 miles on it. Oh, it has an Altegra rear skewer, which is funny because I just sold the wheel with an Altegra front skewer. I should have replaced with something else. People love stuff that says Altegra on it. Altegra. Ta-da! Another strip of bike. Yay for me. Just becoming a bike chop shop for some reason. Um, but yeah, these are the shifters that are on it. The super nice Sun Tour Power Ratchet Thummies with the all chrome instead of black. And like no rust. Guys are getting 60, 70, 80 bucks for these. People will ask 89 for them all the time on eBay. The last couple sets up off eBay I paid like 40 or 50 for because I found really scuffy ones that no one bid on. I lowball bid and, you know, finally won. So I'm pretty happy. These are real nice. I mean, they almost make this $100 bike worth it. Between this and the saddle, I think maybe it is. So here you can see this bin is $150 of the parts I peeled off. Crappy brakes I'll sell for 10 bucks. Those brand new grips, cranks, the Dior and XT stuff, a leather IDL saddle. A lot of them I'm going to keep, a lot of them I'm going to sell. I also got this bin of parts, um, a friend's shop, Tomcat. He went through and was going to have all this set to scrap and gave me a call to see if I wanted to come dig through it. I took one campy chorus crank arm, maybe someone will want it. A couple of old Schwinn Latour brake arms, because you know people break the non-drive. One of them is a matching set, that's kind of cool. I don't know if anyone will ever care, but maybe. A fill wood bottom bracket because the bearings are bad, but you just mill them back to fill and they press on new bearings. They're like four dollars each. It's not a lot of dough. 70 by 119. This will probably just go on eBay. Um, some of the SR custom stems that no one in the world seems to care about but me. Another campy crank. A couple old Schwinn Latour stems. I grabbed a couple other cool stems. This is a Coda stem. I've been 
selling some coded stuff on the eBay recently. This race face system stem, this might be worth a couple of bucks. It's big and long and in mediocre shape and pretty cool. And sometimes race face stuff is valuable. And just some other stems and junk. I grabbed a couple of one inch threadless stems because it's weird and cool. One nice old steel stem that doesn't really have any clear markings other than made in Taiwan. A little Cross Crusade uh, sticker on it. I don't know, I might like it. Some other junk. There's a bunch of new old stock mountain bike stems with alloy wedges, so I grabbed them just for the wedges and the bolts. Lightening up some other stems. Some more Schwinn and SR stems. Like, nothing majorly cool, but a couple of things. Might be worth a few bucks. And as you can see, I got the back of my truck loaded up with uh, all this crap. The last three builds, that red line that I was trying to sell. Had a few little bites, but no one showed up, so whatever. A couple of wheels I bought at the bins that no one ever seemed to care or want and ever used. The wheels off that Schwinn, that Schwinn frame, and that little Cannondale frames on the very bottom. So I didn't donate that. They, they put up on their Instagram the other day that they had a uh, bike scale for sale, and I want one. I'm trying to find one, they're out of stock. 30 bucks, you know, they're like 80 retail. So I'm hoping when I go donate the stuff, they'll have that bike scale. It'll be my big score, make it all worthwhile. If they don't, I'm gonna be very, very sad. So that is this video. Thanks for watching.